What's going on guys? Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care in beautiful Savannah, Georgia. So today I'm going to mow this property with the Husqvarna W520i battery powered mower. Okay, because I know some of you guys are going to ask. Awesome. Now, you're here because you want to start a lawn care business in 2021 and I'm here to give you five steps that you need to take. Now, I'm giving you these five steps in the right sequence, right? So pay attention very carefully now. The first thing that I want you to do, step number one, is choose your business name. What? Choose my business name? Yes. You need to choose a business name that is easy for the customer to remember, is real quick and simple to pronounce, name that will stay in the minds of your customers. Some people like to use their last names, Jones Lawn Care, Brooks Lawn Care, White Lawn Maintenance. You know, you have other people that like to use a task-oriented name, like On Time Lawn Care, Dependable Lawn Care, We Show Up Lawn Care, you know, that type of stuff. And then you have the ones that have that catchy name, right? Turf Barbers, Lawn Doctors, Grass Architect. You know what I mean? So my thing is choose a name that is easy for the customer to remember and choose a name that you can keep and grow with your business. Something that's catchy. All right. Now, the reason I asked you to choose a name first is because the next thing that I want you to do is Google how to get a business license in your state. Okay, how to get a business license, Texas. How to get a business license, Washington. How to get a business license, Maryland. This way, you will know exactly what is required of you in your particular state. Some states, you don't need a business license. Some state, you need a special contractor's license. So that's what I want you to do. Google that and get the number to the location call them and let them know hey mrs or mr such and such i'm thinking of starting a lawn care company in my location what requirements do i need and and just so you know here in my state of georgia all i need is a business license and i paid i want to say about 101 dollars something to that so make sure you do that and be legit Okay, now once you get your business license, the next thing I want you to do is to start researching, right? Again, Google this. You want general liability insurance. Guys, you need to have insurance, okay? Let me tell you, I'm the first one to tell you that, <laughs> listen, the best way for you to be a good business owner is having insurance. One time I busted a window, small plate of glass in this uh, luxury location and the window end up costing my insurance company three thousand five hundred dollars because the the door came from italy the door was imported from italy and they couldn't take the glass out and if i didn't have my insurance i would have had to come out of pocket for that okay so again guys you're, you're at a property mowing grass things happen okay things will happen it's, it's going to happen it happens to the best of us whether you have a mulching kit whatever the case might be it happens guys so please google get general liability insurance and again it depends on what you're doing if you're spraying or whatever the case might be it's something that you really want to do all right now the next thing that you want to do guys step number four is go outside or go into your garage and look at your equipment okay Look at what equipment you have. And if you have a push mower, guys, then that is your target customer. You know, ones with the small lawns. If you have a string trimmer, an edger, that's what you want. You want to find uh, small lawns where you can come in, push mow them, blow, and keep it moving. Don't go out there and spend thousands of dollars <clears throat> on that impression. You know, buying stuff for, for, for uh, accounts that you don't even have, okay? Once you acquire these big accounts, then you can purchase a mower for that specific account. All right, that's 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 the way, and and that encompasses number five, which is market your business uh, to the equipment that you have. Guys, again, do not go out there and pay all this money for this big equipment when it's only going to do X amount of your properties. Okay, Just keep that in mind. 
Again, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hope this was helpful for you. Have a blessed one. Pop Spoke. Peace.